What's up, y'all? I'm Chris Hayes, 508, and this is the Top 10 Countdown right here on Turla TV every Monday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern. And today, we got a very big episode. If you're an artist trying to get signed, trying to get a record deal and learn more about the music business, stay tuned because we got a huge interview with Steve Rifkin. He started Loud Records, SRC Records, and now Spring Sound with Alex Rifkin. They're going to be talking about all that and more. Plus, we're going to be talking to one of the debut artists off the label, Lil Kari out of Florida. He's got his new song with Jack Boy, Down South Baby. It's going to be a crazy episode. Plus, we're gonna find out who has the number one video and it could be you. Make sure to tag Top 10 Triller on all your Triller videos to get on next week's episode. Now let's get it started. Let's go. What's up y'all? I'm Chris Hayes 508 and this is the Top 10 Countdown right here on Trilla TV. And if you're an artist, you really want to pay attention because right now we got two very special guests with big opportunities. Um, One by one, please introduce yourself. Just tell us your name. Tell us what you do right now. Hey, I'm Steve Rifkin, um, co-founder of Spring Sound. I was also the founder of Loud Records, which is Wu-Tang Clan, Mob Deep, Big Fun, 3-6 Mafia, Exhibit, Funk Flex, Raekwon, SRC Records, which was Akon, David Banner, Melanie Fiona, Chantel, and Ray J. And now we got Spring Sound. I'd like to introduce you to Alex. It's your turn. I'm Alex Ripken. I'm the other, one of the three co-founders of Spring Sound. Um, I don't have an extensive resume like my dad. So my aspiration is just hopefully I could just do at least half of what he accomplished. And I think I'll be happy with, with the results of that. So I'm just here just to... Uh, you know, just to keep working, man, and just keep pushing Spring Sound forward. Wow. Well, Alex, I want to officially welcome you to the show. And you've been making waves in the industry and standing on your own. Later on in this episode, we're going to be talking to Lil Kari. He's got the new song out right now with Jack Boy. And you got an ear. You got an eye for talent, man. You've been doing your thing. So I want to salute you. So, Steve, can you tell me just a little bit more about how Spring Sound started and what's it all about? So Spring Sound is a spinoff of Spring Records, which was Spring Records was owned by my dad and my uncle. Julie was my dad and my uncle and my uncle Roy, Julie and Roy Rifkin. They were brothers. Um, they sold that in the early 80s. But, you know, Spring was the first company to put out a rap record, which was the Fatback Band King Tim the Third. They had a female artist by the name of Lily Jackson that won a few Grammys and, you know, sold platinum album which was unheard of in those times joe simon and an artist by the name of james brown through polydor so um to pay homage to my dad to my uncle um we decided to uh, call the label spring sound and you know it's still going to be um artists are still going to come first there's still going to be a bunch of passion before we even just got on to this call with you, Chris, I just snapped at Alex and like explaining to him, like, we got to start breaking arts. And I understand there's influences and tastemakers and trendsetters, but we still got to touch that fucking ground. And we still got to break an artist, some the old fashioned way, some with the new fashion, but it's go time now, you know? And we got this single little week program, well, single bi-weekly. It's called Spring Singles, um, where the, some of the biggest artists of my career start off as a single deal. Wu-Tang start off as a single deal. Akon start off as a single deal. And so did Mob D. So we have 26 chances to catch three. You know, you know what? I think I never knew that, you know, that you think you know, they Wu Tang came with 36 chambers of forever, but it started with a single and, and a guy like you just believing in it. And then that artist is also responsible for getting out and working that record too. They got to show up, they got to promote it just as well. So, using the, I mean, you invented the street teams, you're the creator of the street team. So, you know all about the street. And now you got Alex, who's part of the new generation. So, you bring that together, you guys bring sound and right here on Triller. You guys have created a partnership where artists can actually 
like submit music to Steve Rifkin and Alex Rifkin and they have a chance to get on spring singles and maybe their career will to album deals and, and, and moving forward. So like right now, I mean, people it will be it. They'll be, you know, the, the goal is to find, you know, if it's just one, but, you know, make them a household name where, you know, Wu-Tang, you know, we're going on 30 years on uh, 36 Chambers and they're still touring and they're still touring sheds. You know, they're doing 10 to 15,000. So those are the artists. I might not be around in 30 years, but at the end of the day, that's that's what we're going for. It's, a, it's always been about longevity and self-containment and partnering up with the artist to say, hey, we're, we're in this together. You guys are looking for talent. Is it literally... Is this just the song? You hear the song and you just sign them off the song? Or just something you need to talk to them? You need to get to know them, find their character, and feel like if they are ready to be a part, if they're worth an investment from you guys. Is it just the music or is it beyond the music? It's, it, it's beyond the music. It's the it factor. You got you, you got you got to have it in, in, inside you, right? So I'm not saying anybody can make great music, but, you know, great music is great music. And that is... Uh, a nice part of it that you know but if you don't have a work ethic to wake up and promote and to market and come with ideas and have a real vision then you're not going to be in it. you're not going to be in it long term so before we sign anything and my success that's what i'm saying is partnering up with the odds and i'm not even talking financially i'm talking spiritually like if if you can't be on the same page um then I'm going to pass. And, and, and speaking with Kari, this guy is young, intelligent. He has a vision, his music. And I'm like, okay, I this is it makes sense. I mean, is there any advice you would give to the, any artists out there like to like that you've seen people go wrong and maybe any advice for managers? Some people might have not have the best management. Like, is there an advice you give to managers or anything you can leave the people with you have so much experience i mean with with the managers you know you really got to be on the same page as the artist and you got to fight for that artist even if even if you're known as the bad guy you know you're the front line for the artist nothing should get through you or whatever you know and you so you got to be transparent with the artist if there has to be trust and you got to and you got to learn how to fight and not and not take the word no. And I think I think a lot and, of people and, be, and, and, and be strategic. Now, Alex, I kind of just want to pass it back to you. We haven't we haven't talked to you in a, a few minutes and I just kind of you've been on the ground. And I know you and Steve are going to be going through a lot of the music and a lot of the videos. Is there is there something you're looking for right now? Like, are you looking for a sound or you're just. You're open for whatever is because is there something you just haven't found yet? Me personally, bro, the most important thing to me is authenticity because I was talking with um, Z at Audio Mac yesterday and we were just like running, talking about like some stats and stuff. And one of the stats is there's 500,000 songs that come out every week. But then it's really not that number because some songs don't even get played. So it's really about I think we ended up with like 30 to 60,000 songs that are getting streamed every week, which is still a high number. So to cut through all the noise, I think authenticity is the key because at this stage now where content is oversaturated across all mediums from TV to music to everything, um, no one's going to connect to something that doesn't feel real. And I think the only thing that's going to cut through now is people who show the process, people who are transparent and not ashamed to be themselves um, on a more spiritual tip. Like my dad was saying, I think there's there's strength and vulnerability. So it's like the eight mile moment Eminem had, right? The reason why he won that battle is because he called everything out about himself and then called out the guy who's putting up a front the whole time. And then there's nothing to say back because you accept all your flaws. So I think from an artist, when you can apply that to the music, I think that's what is gonna make it cut through um, because no one could do you better than you. So to me, that's what I always look for when I hear a song. And obviously, is it good? Like, what's the feeling that that the music makes you feel? But I think especially in today's climate, with everything coming out, it's such like a high volume. Um, the, the authenticity factor is like the highest for me. Like, 
are you connected to the music as the artist you know because then everyone else will feel that you let the people know where can they submit the music do you have an email a website instagram like what's is it all places how should they get in touch with you so in terms of social media um we're building a we're, we're, we're starting a trailer uh spring sound trailer and we're just gonna have content based on this education so we'll have that up soon um instagram at spring sound and then the email to submit all music is spring singles s-p-r-i-n-g singles at spring-sound.com and please when you submit the music send uh, or when you send the email send the music with the email that is the one place where you can send it because sometimes i'll get emails saying what's the next step how do i get the music to you it's like this is where you send it so you could put the artist name um in the in this in the subject and then just drop i don't know three to five singles and then our a and r team will we'll go through it and we'll we'll see what connects so spring singles at spring-sound.com all music um and if you want to send a video you want to send socials as well you could drop that in there as well but everything goes to that email dope i'm gonna drop it right down below and i know the website is probably up by now it's about to be up so stay tuned for the website easy submission opportunities and uh follow these guys on instagram tap in with them and support what they have going on too. support the artists that they support and get yourself involved get active make yourself stand out be authentic alex thank you so much for coming through to the show today man you you you've said a lot of game today i feel like i've been watching you make moves you've been picking the right artist kari is dope and i can't wait to see what's next guys get active get ready and get at alex and steve spring singles is going down alex thank you so much man no thank you we got some artist coins on the way take 45 little kari and the spring sound coin on the way so we're doing some you know some some stuff that's left field that in a couple years everyone will catch up to the things we're thinking and what we're doing. So just be on the lookout for updates on that as well. I can't wait to, I want to give him a little teaser with the web three. I didn't want to say too much. Man. <laughs> I, I, I know you're onto something big with that. And Steve, um, before we go, I just wanted to say, um, thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for your time. Thank you for giving all these opportunities to these artists. And um, Steve, is there anything you want to, say before we go is there any advice you could give to the artists who are trying to get in the game stay in the game i mean i'm sure they would appreciate it i mean follow your dream man you know follow your dream it's it's all about the music don't let none of these executives get you down just keep on following keep on pushing and something good's gonna happen well said Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Keep a lookout for Spring Sound. They're shaking things up. Spring Singles, submit your music right now. And you guys already know what it is. I'm Chris Hayes, 508. This is the Top 10 Countdown on Trilly TV. In a few seconds, we're going to find out who has the number one video. Don't go anywhere. Let's go. What's up, y'all? I'm Chris Hayes, and this is the Top 10 Countdown right here on Trilla TV, where we play videos and we interview artists. And earlier on, we were speaking to Steve and Alex, and they're looking for artists, and they found a really dope artist. And this is the first artist that they're putting out there. You guys might have seen his video. You might have seen him on TikTok. He's been around. He's making waves. He's working with some of your favorite artists already. And I want to have him introduce himself Please introduce yourself, man. Tell us your name, where you're from, and what you're working on right now. All right, Mister, what it is, man? It's your boy, it's Lil' it's right here, Mister Boy, Lil' Car. And uh, right now, I just dropped that down song, baby remix for me and Jack Boy. Shout out to that boy, A A A Jack Boy. And yeah, man, I'm just working on different projects and just trying to promote this record and just move strategically and get a fans what they want. You know, that's really what I've been doing. So, you know. dope, yo, Lil. Kari, it is dope to finally have you on the show. I saw the original video. I saw the remix that literally just dropped. Like, this is fresh up. Like, this is a brand new video, right? This just came out. Um, I appreciate that, man, for us. You know what I'm saying? Glad to be here. And, you know, um, yeah, it just dropped yesterday. Yeah, yesterday at 3 o'clock. So, yeah. Wow. Like, literally, it just turned to a day. So, yeah, it just dropped a day ago. So, 
Mm-hmm. Tell them again so they so so they know where are you from, man? Like how old are you? So everyone watching knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so um I'm 18 from Bride County, Florida, Pompano Beach. You know what I'm saying? Down south, you know what I'm saying? Which inspired the song Down South Baby. So you know, I'm from Pompano Man, Florida Baby, you know, grew up born and raised. Alright, alright. Well, here's the thing, man. We have a lot more to talk about um but i actually just want to get to the video right now this this is hot people are talking about it millions of plays like this is everywhere right now do you want to introduce the new video to the people for us yeah yeah for so we can do that let's do it um yeah you want to play it yeah introduce it to the people man okay yeah uh so the new record that just dropped is a remix of the original that i did called a little car down so baby um um, some of you may know it. It's been, you know, what I'm saying it's been everywhere. It's been doing, you know, what I'm saying it's numbers and all. Um, I went and recruited Jack Boy for the remix. So, uh, me and Jack Boy hopped on the song. You know, I sent it to him. He said he want, uh, you know, what I'm saying do it. He sent me less than a day. Um, and you know, we just been going crazy. So I just dropped the visuals for that. Um, the song dropped Friday, the audio, but the video dropped yesterday, which is like a couple days after. Uh, so the audio itself, um, right now I think it's at like 50,000 plays on Spotify, I think. Around there I know for sure. Um, I didn't check the Apple notes, but I know it's probably up there too. But, you know, just been trying to circulate it and just, you know, get it out there to the people, you know what I'm saying, so they could judge if they're messing with it or not. And it seems like a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, seem to like the record, so, you know. Absolutely. We're going to play it right now. Lil Kari. Jack Boy, Down South Baby, let's go. What's up, y'all? I'm Chris Hayes, 5 away, and this is the Top 10 Countdown. And you just saw a real dope video. Lil Kari, Jack Boy, Down South Baby. Yo, Lil Kari, it's got the sound, it's got the look, it's got everything, man. For the people that watch and that enjoyed that, tell them... Like, where can they find that? Where can they listen to it? How can they download it? And also, like, what else do you have going on that the people watching can support you on, man? Okay, okay. For so, no doubt. Like I said, man, appreciate everybody who tuned in and rocking with you, boy. But, um, like I said, Lakari featured Jack Boy Down South Baby is out everywhere on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, wherever you really listen to music, Audio Mac. And, you know, the visuals obviously out on YouTube now, so everybody go scream that and show love to you, so, boy. Man, I've I've looked a lot into you. We've done a lot of research. You're you do a lot of stuff outside the music too. You a businessman. You like a young boss, man. You and actually, you educated man. Tell us like you in school right now, right? Tell us about school and, and put your performing down there. Tell us what's happening with the fam down there, man. All right, I go to um fam you for people that don't know. I go to fam you um with Tallahassee. Um, it's my I'm a I'm a business administration major, third year. Oh, I'm 18. People that dirty catch, I'm 18. So, but I'm a junior. I started uh I started college and high school. So I did a lot of college. Uh, I did two years. I got my associates in business when I uh before I finished high school. You know what I'm saying? We gotta talk about that. Ain't nothing wrong. Get an edu- you can you can get an education and still be a dope artist and be working with these. People. This guy's a, an example of it, man. A lot of people they like you know what I'm saying education is cool being information information power you know what I'm saying knowledge is what makes the world go round and as you become more knowledgeable on what you want you gonna become more successful because you just keep learning new things but you know how I did it was like I said I have a production company Edge Thirty Six Productions where I'm from Edge Thirty Six started a production company um trying to find different artists and just learn the business as I go. Um, and like I said, you know, my label and the people I've been working with have definitely, you know, helped me and steal my vision. But, um, yeah, man, I got a, I got a skincare factory um, in my hometown, Brad County. It's called Skin Factory with the pH, so like pH factory. Like, y'all okay. like, have like pH balance. Um, opened up a couple months ago. It's doing pretty good. We do skin rejuvenations, a micro needling. Um, it's like, you know, it, um, vagina wax, all different types of stuff that you could think of. It's an all black owned vendor, um, like the vendors for the, um, the products and stuff like that. It's like a, uh, beer scrub and stuff like that. Um, oh man, guys. Yeah, I just been, you got know, a young mogul on our hands right now. A young boss, man. He's got businesses, production company. 
I gotta salute you, bro. Everyone salute Lil Kari right now. Listen, man, I found, man, you got your own swag, your own style, whether it's the music, whether it's the videos, or it's right. the fashion, man. You know, Florida does its own thing. Is I mean, I feel like, man, shit, man, tell me what's up, man, Kyra. I need to rock like you, man. What's up with the style, bro? Talk to him, bro. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, like, you know, I'm from Florida, and, you know, like, I ain't gonna lie, I've been wearing hoodies all my life, you feel me? So, like, you know, like, I just got distinctive way I wear it, like, you know what I'm saying? I wear it around my face, and, you know, it's like on my chin, and I don't know, it just it just felt like me, you know, I could swag it out. A lot of people like it, like, my fans love it, you know what I'm saying? So, and, you know, I've been seeing some, like, I even be on TikTok, like, I did a reaction video, <laughs> Just like me, he got a bit just like the hair. I'm like, oh, this boy is snapping, you know what I'm mean? saying? So, you know, it's just I can actually see that. I actually see it now. Like, I actually, I think you sat in a trend. And now, this brings my point. You, from this short interview, man, we've seen your music, we've watched the videos, I've heard your story. You are a trend better, man. You are a young boss, young visionary, CEO. You doing your own thing, man. But along the way, you caught the attention of some really powerful people, man. Some big people in the music business. So, um, earlier on in the show, we had Alex and Steve Rifkin from Spring Sound. You know Steve Rifkin, formerly Loud Records, SRC. Tell us about working with Alex and Steve and how that all came about, man. Yeah, man, I signed the Spring Sound, signed the Loud Records, signed that boy, no cap, and Alex for sure. But um, that's crazy, cause like how it happened was I. It was all something like a family vibe, cause like my uncle, like he was basically my uncle was like the coach for Alex, and like he would coach him in basketball and stuff. So that's how they had their relationship. But like all of a sudden, like I had a song that I had did like a throwaway. Like it was a song like for at the time I only had money for like a twenty five dollar studio, you know. So the quality wasn't good, but you know I was still making music. You feel me? So my uncle one day sent me to Alex, like, yo, just let me know what you think of the song. You feel me? Not even give and tell him, like, I was his nephew or nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, Alex got back to him, he heard you, he like, bro, this kid is dope, he's so hard, like, who is this, da 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 And he was like, yo, that's my nephew. He was like, say you swear, da 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 and all that. And <laughs> basically, like, the next day, like, he called my phone, like, him and his team, like, they called me, like, yo, you hard, da 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 And then, ever since then, like, it's been up from there, you feel me? So, you know. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, you are a visionary. You're a young boss. You're a CEO. But you need a team. You can't do everything by yourself. And it's dope guy. Steve Rifkin on your team is a is a win. Having Alex on your team, that's a big win. You know what I'm saying? So um, you never know what someone's looking for. You thought you didn't think much of the song. They thought everything about it. That's why, guys, submit your music. Put your music up there. Don't be afraid to release it. And he was doing $25 studios. He was working with what he had, and it caught the attention of Spring Sound, and you see what's going on, man. And, and Lil Kari, like I said, you have a vision, man. You have a plan, and everything you're doing, man, staying in the track. I, res I respect you doing the school and everything, man, but I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. Like, is there anything I didn't ask you that you wanted to talk about? Is there any shout-outs you want to give to your team, your family, your crew, your supporters, or just a message in general for the people? You know, um, we're going to end it off like this, man. First off, you know, shout-out to my team. Shout-out to Spring Sound, Loud Records, Fever. Shout-out to Thriller. Shout-out to everybody showing me love. Everybody shout-out to Jack Boy. You know, shout-out to my mama. You know, hey, mama, what it is. <laughs> Shout out to my brothers and all my family members and everybody just supported me from the very beginning, you know what I'm saying? I really commend it, you know what I'm saying? Humble and I just respect it. And you know, message of the day is, man, I guess, you know, if somebody ain't gonna do it for you, you gotta do it for yourself, you know what I'm saying? So just keep working, keep striving, you know, eventually it's gonna be where you want to be at, you know so. Man, Lil Kari, 18 years old, out of Florida, go check out that new song. Go check out that little party and Jack Boy Down South, baby, for so Go check it out right now. Tell them, man. Tell them. Go to YouTube right now. Type it in, man. Make sure to go follow Lil Kari. I appreciate everyone tuned in. Do not go anywhere, man. We're about to find out who has the number one video, and you already know what it is. I'm Chris Ace 508. This is the Top 10 Countdown right here on Southern TV, and we'll be back next Monday at 430 Pacific. Let's go.